When applying graphics to a trailer or any kind of uh, vehicle, the first step is always cleaning. You would use soap and water first, just like normal dish detergent and hose water, or faucet water, or whatever. After you've done that, you take the deep cleaner, which is this orange fluid. You spray in the same place that you just washed with your soap and water. Wait 45 seconds and then buff the surface clean and dry. Put a little elbow grease into it. Make sure you get all of it gone. Once you're satisfied with that, next step is to take application fluid and clean that off again. Both of these fluids will be supplied to you in the application kit. Just wipe it off real good again. And nice and clean and dry. Next step is to place the vinyl. I went ahead and took the liberty in advance of adding two pieces of tape in the corner of the vinyl. This is when you get it where you need it, you just touch these down and it holds it in place for you. So you would line it up visually with everything else. And if you can notice on here, I left these two little things on the corner. This will come into play if you're adding a drop shadow later. Got it about where I want it, so I touch them down. After you've got it basically in the general area where you want it, then you take a tape measure, level it off, off the flat surfaces of, of your vinyl. In this case, since I don't have anything flat to measure off from the bottom, I'm going to be pulling from the top of the trailer. So on our first flat surface, we have 38 and a half. So I'll go ahead and make sure it is on 38 and a half. Then I'll move down to the next flat letter. Make sure this is 38 and a half. And it is. There we go. Generally, we, I'm going to go back and check it again because once you move one side, the other side usually will walk up. So you want to make sure you want to double check your measurements before you finally put down the vinyl. After you found the spot where your vinyl is going to go, the next step is called hinging your vinyl. You take a two inch masking tape, you put it half on your vinyl and half onto the vehicle. Pressing it down. Real good. If you're in a colder climate, you want to make sure it's rubbed down real good. This is very important because if you peel this up and the tape comes off and it's already in place and you don't have the backing paper on anymore, it could cause a lot of problems. So as you can see, where I'm going to put this particular vinyl, it has these rivets in here. First thing I do is assess which rivet is going to be causing me the most problems. Since this one right here is not going to be anywhere where I'm going to be laying it, I'm going to focus all my attention on this one. Now there's two ways of dealing with a rivet. You can either lay over it or you can actually remove it, lay your vinyl, and then put the rivet back in. And this can be done two ways. If you look closely, it has a star tip. But it's not really a star tip because those are actually impossible to find. It's actually a number two square bit that you can use, or this, at least in this instance, that's what it is. Once you've gotten it out, you would just lay your vinyl down like you normally would. Once you've peeled the masking tape off, you just put your rivet right back in, and then there's basically a rivet over your vinyl. You can also get a drill attachment with a number two bit. It's a little bit easier. Also in this video, I'm going to be de demonstrating how to lay the vinyl over this rivet. So first thing I do is I cut the letters in easy manageable sections, like basically isolating this letter as well away from the rivet. So that's the one letter I'm going to work with. So I know for sure that I'm going to cut this U apart because the U is going to be the one that's going to go over the rivet. Now, if, if, if you're a little less advanced and if you're a little nervous about applying the vinyl, you can actually cut in between every one of them. When using the application fluid, you lift your vinyl up, careful not to get the other backing paper wet. You don't want to do that because the backing paper will stick to the back of the vinyl and it's, uh, it doesn't, it's not easy to get off. So you'll take your uh, application fluid and spray it on here a little bit. You can also peel the backing of your paper off here. 
And you can also do the backing of it as well. Once you're happy with how much you have, you just hold it down like this, starting with your squeegee that we supplied in the kit as well. Start from the middle with even pressure and work your way to the outside. Applying even pressure the whole way, starting from the middle every time. And just push it out. When you get down far enough, you start from the middle and just push straight down. Now, if you've used the application fluid, you're going to want to let that, that masking tape right here sit on there for at least 30 to 45 minutes to make sure that the, uh, the adhesive behind the letters that is, has, has adhered to the trailer completely. You can speed this process up by using a heat gun that you would get from a hardware store or just your, your basic everyday blow dryer. So the next step I have here is I'm going to lay over this, this rivet. I peel the paper back and take it completely off. Follow my same rules, starting from the middle, applying even pressure. You know, you, got, you may have to work around another rivet as well to, to, to make the pressure work. So you do everything you can, isolating that rivet, pulling the vinyl tight down in this corner, and working your way to the rivet. And you can actually just go over the rivet with your squeegee. Then you can actually see where your, sque your rivet is, and then you can gradually just go ahead and start working it. Once you get this far, it's probably best if you go ahead and take the paper off so you can maneuver the vinyl a little bit better. When you do this, you don't want to tear off the, tape, the tape that's holding the rest of your graphic off, graphic off as well. So now we're still holding this in the place it's supposed to be. This is already applied. So now we're just going to work on this little bit of the rivet where it's bubbled up like this. You just take the corner of your squeegee, try to tuck it down inside of the, the rivet, and just work it around just like this. During colder climates, this is where the, the, the heat gun or the blow dryer works. It helps soften the vinyl a little bit and it makes it easier to tuck down underneath here. If not, it's just going to be, it'll just come undone. And that's how you apply vinyl over a rivet. So now we're going to move on ahead. And on these bigger pieces like this, if you'd like to just pull it down halfway, you can just hold it in the middle and it holds out both of your ends. It's like an extra set of hands. Again, starting from the middle, even pressure, working your way out, starting from the middle every time. When you got down to where the paper is, you just pull the rest of the paper off, holding it at the corner, hold it in the middle, and just keep applying. Now when you've gotten this far, you can just start down the middle and just go straight down.